Hey Cards, it's Mr. Hartley, your principal. I hope you're all doing well today. Well, it's been about a year since we've been away from in-person learning and we're really excited to get started back up again. In this video, we're gonna share a bunch of information with you that's important for you to know before that first day of school. If you've been following our numbers for COVID cases in Pierce County, the numbers have been dropping really rapidly, which is great news for all of us. And that's the reason why we're able to come back to school. When we come back, it will be in a hybrid fashion, which means we'll have uh, two cohorts of students um, half of you learning from here and half of you learning from home each day. We'll also have a third option for those students who choose to remain fully remote. You can still do that. Uh, the reason why we're able to return is because we're following up a lot of the uh, very strict guidelines from our health department. And the four basics are not new to you, but we need to make sure we're following them every single day. The first one is we have to wear our masks at all times while we're at school. And that means we have to wear them properly. Second, we have to be socially distanced while we're at school throughout the day. Third, we need to be washing our hands frequently throughout the day. And finally, if we're feeling sick for any reason at all, uh, we just need to stay home for that day. You can still jump into remote learning through Zoom uh, if you're not feeling well, but that's how we're gonna keep everybody safe here and we're gonna stay open for school. In this video, you're, we're gonna hit several topics that you're gonna learn about. We're gonna talk about the arrival procedures at school and how to check in. Every student needs to check in every morning with us. We're gonna talk about the procedures for entering and exiting the classroom. It'll be a little bit different. Same thing with passing period procedures. Those will be a little different as well, and we'll cover those, as well as bathroom procedures. Uh, we're gonna talk about what lunches are going to look like for us. And then we're gonna wrap up with what the end of the day and what dismissal looks like. So stick with us throughout the video cards. We're excited to see you again. See you real soon. Hi Cardinals. I'm Ms. Marzano, one of your assistant principals. I'm here to talk about the importance of wearing your mask and social distancing while here at school. If you drive, or get dropped off by a parent. The moment you step outside of the car, your mask must be on and it must be worn properly. That means it's over your mouth and over your nose. If you ride the bus, you have to wear your mask properly before boarding the bus and it must stay on the entire time. Your mask must be on the entire time you are here at school. The only exception is during lunch while you are eating. You can put your, take your mask off while you're eating and put it right back on afterwards. It's important to maintain social distancing as well. You must stay six feet away from your peers and staff at all times. There are markings on the floor and signs to help you. In your classrooms, seating has been set up for social distancing along with common places like the cafeteria, the commons, and the library. Remember Cardinals, it is these rules that keep us safe and here at school. See you soon. Hey Cards, Luke Zager here with the arrival procedures here at FPHS. Whether you're arriving to school via the turnaround, the staff parking lot, the student parking lot, a bus, or you're walking to school, everyone is going to check in in the courtyard back there and make sure you're ready to head to school. Hey Cards, this is Mrs. Wright, and I am here to talk to you about the arrival process when you come to school. Prior to coming to school, you will need to fill out the health screener attestation. There are several ways to do this. Number one, your parents get an email and can fill it out that way. You can also get a text message on your phone, or there will be QR codes that you can scan and it'll take you directly to the link to fill out your attestation. You'll find these QR codes on the bus and you'll also find them around campus. They will look very similar to this right here. When you arrive to Franklin Pierce High School, you will enter the commons via the courtyard. So make your way directly to the courtyard. There will be staff directing you. Make sure you maintain social distance at all times. When you enter the commons, there will be check stations set up for you. You'll just want to have your green check that shows that you did your attestation on your phone and available before you 
make your way to the table where the adult will check that. At that time, they'll give you a stamp showing that you are approved to be on campus and you'll head on to class. If you are not able to do your attestation on your phone, you do have the option of doing a paper copy. That paper copy will be made available to you here at the school, and it will look like this. Once you fill out the paper copy, we will do a temperature check, and then if your temperature is okay, we will give you the stamp that shows you are okay to go to class. You can also request several copies of the paper copy to take home, and you can fill that out while you're at home so that you don't have a waiting process. If you have any questions, always ask. We're here to answer. Hi, cards. This is Annabella Wren, and I'm here to talk to you about passing periods. When you're in the hallways, you need to stay six feet apart from anybody around you and stay on the right side of the hallway. If you need to use the bathroom, there are bathrooms in the main gym and in the commons. There's going to be 10 minutes during passing period to leave room for cleaning procedures and you need to get straight to class. Hey cards, it's me Rosalind with classroom entry procedures. First thing you want to do when you get into class is grab a paper towel. You're then going to take it over to your desk which has already been sprayed by your teacher. You're going to want to return to the trash can and throw that away, get some hand sanitizer, and go back to your desk and don't move until the teacher says something. Hey cards, this is Luke Zager here with classroom exit procedures. Beginning, you're going to be dismissed by row and then the teachers are going to come through and spray down the desks after you leave. When you get to your next class, if the teacher isn't there, make sure to not congregate in the halls and maintain social distance. Hi, my name is Elvis Lee and I'm here to talk to you about water bottles. So since all the drinking fountains are covered up, you'll have to bring your own water bottle if you want to stay hydrated. To drink it in class, just pull down your mask, take a swig. There will be two water bottle refilling stations, one in the gym and one in the commons. Hi cars, this is Albert and I'm here to talk about bathroom procedures. For guys, the maximum capacity is four people, while for girls, it's five people. If the bathroom is already at maximum capacity when you arrive, please wait outside until someone leaves. Hey cards, it's Mrs. Laban. We're gonna go over some lunchtime procedures. So you have two places where you can eat lunch. You can eat in the commons or the cafeteria. There'll be places to pick up your lunch in the commons and two places in the cafeteria where you can grab your lunch. Um, once you get your lunch, you're gonna wanna find a seat in the cafeteria or the commons. You wanna make sure that you're sitting around people um, that you're going to want to socialize with because once you pick a seat, this is going to be your seat for the next four to five weeks. You're going to want to register your seat by scanning the QR code. You're going to put in your first and last name, um, your cohort and what lunch you're at, and then your seat number. And we have to do this in order uh, to track contract tracing. Um, just in case anything were ever to happen, we want to make sure that we know who was around um, the person who was sick. Um, so during lunch in the cafeteria, we'll be playing movies on the big screen um, and you'll have time to eat and socialize with your friends. The last 15 minutes of lunch, you're going to be able to go out into the courtyard and hang out, socialize, um, talk with your friends. Of course, you're going to have to be socially distanced and you're going to have to have your mask on. While you're eating lunch, you don't have to have your mask on, but you will have to all be facing in the same direction. So the cafeteria does look a little different. Um, each day you can, each day you're on campus, you can pick up a breakfast on, on your way out. Um, we will not be serving any breakfast on campus. So grab a breakfast um, from the 12 or 1300 breezeways or from uh, the commons. All right, cars, that's about it for this video. I hope you learned a lot about our return to school. We're real excited to see you again soon. The end of your day is gonna look pretty much like it started. 
Uh, if you walked onto campus, you're gonna walk right back out the way that you came and head on home. If your parents dropped you off, then you're gonna head out to the front of the campus and you're gonna meet them wherever you talked about meeting them. That could be by the flagpole, it could be in the staff parking lot, it might be on uh, 18th out front, and it could even be across the street on 112th. If you drove yourself this morning, then you're gonna head right out to the student parking lot, get back in your car and head on home for the day. And if you took the bus, this is really important, make sure you've talked to your bus driver that and you know where you're getting picked up in the afternoon there are two locations. One is over in the staff, uh, student parking lot, and one is back here between the gym and the music rooms. So make sure you know where you're going. There will be breakfast carts available for everyone to take home. If you need, uh, if you want to take a bag for breakfast, remember we're not serving breakfast on campus. Um, if you're an athlete, then if your sport starts right after school, then you need to head directly to where your team is located and make sure you're being supervised by your coach. If your sport starts a few hours after school ends, then you're gonna to need to leave campus and then come back when your team is assembled and your coach is ready to supervise you. If you're in a club, you're gonna head directly to your club location and make sure you're being supervised by your club advisor. What you can't do is hang out and hang around. In order for us to stay safe and stay in school, we need to follow all these rules that are set forth by the health department. So at the end of the day, we do need everyone to clear off campus unless you're being directly supervised by an adult in a sport or a club. Uh, that's it for this video. I'm sure you have more questions and we will answer those along the way. It's gonna be great cards. We can't wait to see you again real soon. Out.